Hey everybody and welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. Uh, today I'm going to be looking at some sounds uh, for us to mess around with. Um, so just to give some context, firstly I've made this small door. It's just a smaller design so I can use uh, for small rooms, not corridors. Uh, also I've, there's a new door here. Huh, would you look, would you look at that? Where well, know where it leads. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, we have a new corridor. Yeah, I've just basically been messing around trying to start designing on some level work. Uh, and I thought I would start by just making this basic corridor. I, like, I'm going to obviously update it and add new textures to it, add more detail in there. Uh, but I thought I'd just give it a start, a little prototype, if you will. Uh, I've added in some like small ventilation-looking shafts. We've got this kind of low-level light that runs along um, the floor. Um, I'm going to add some stuff that's like some wires and stuff and uh, more lights running at the top. Um, this is just a sort of scene test for when I basically start my game. Uh, I want it to be when you come into the maintenance bay all dark and gloomy like this. So it's very hard to see. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll be kind of working on this over the next sort of month or so. Just um, adding detail in here and, and getting it ready to go. But I thought um, it would give me an idea to sort of do a little tutorial where... Um, you kind of walk down here and a sound plays, maybe like a scuttling in the vents plays to the left. And then as you get down to the end, you'll hear the generator running in the background. Um, so yeah, so let's. So I thought we'd kind of work on some fading of sounds. To, to start this tutorial, I've got um, two sounds. I've got a sci-fi generator sound. It's quite loud, so I'll probably dim that down a bit, but um, that'll play when you get to the end of the corridor. It'll like fade in. And I thought some sort of like small scuttling sound in the in the vents would be cool. So to do this, I, I'm going to basically promote both of these to their own BP. Um, one of them. Let's do the scuttling first. So for the scuttling, um, um, I want it to play just once. So. You lend to the box, it'll play, and it'll never play again. So, let's go to our event graph. Uh, oh, we want to add in a, a box collision. Like so. Uh, well, yeah, that should be fine, to be honest. Um, right. Let's just make sure, yeah. That seems fine. Now, you can obviously change the size of the box, depending on the size of the corridor, and where you want the player to hit that box. Um, this also works for things like voice acting and stuff like that. So when you have um, something come over like a radio, uh, I wouldn't add the fade in on this, but you would just have it like, hey buddy, how's it going? Where are you? Blah, 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 and then come off like, you know, uh, that can be triggered through this method as well. You just wouldn't use a fade in. You just use a play uh, sound and just do a do once or something like that. Okay, so delete all these. We don't need any of those. Uh, we just need the box and we just need that begin overlap and the end overlap. We are going to cast it to our main character. So cast to third person character. Um, and also cast to third person character. Uh, we probably don't need the end overlap to be honest because we're just going to do a do once thinking about it. We will want that for the next one though. So what we want to do is we just want to um, we want to play uh, no we want, we want to fade in audio like so and the audio is that audio uh, you can change the name to vent sound if you want to uh, and then we just want a before that we want to run off a do once so do once like so. Uh, just like that. And it'll only ever play it once, okay? It'll only ever fire this once. And to be honest, once it's um once it's played, you could destroy the actor, to be fair, to get some extra stuff out of here. So work out what the length of the audio is if you can. 
Uh, let's find out. So it's 5.44 seconds, so delay 5. Point, uh, delay, oh, do you, which one's standard? Delay, what am I doing? 5.44. Okay, so it'll play the full length of the sound, um, and then, um, I'm thinking of doing this a different way. So let's play to 2.6. Uh, we'll just try and see if this works. And then we want to fade out. Uh, um, then we'll wait for the remaining, the remaining uh, sort of 2.6 seconds. Uh, and then we'll um, destroy actor, which is self, okay? So this should only ever play once. Let's give it a go. Uh, we need to drag it in, of course. Don't forget to drag it in, otherwise it really will do nothing. I do that every episode. Why do I have I not learned to not do that? Content draw. Uh, where's that? Where's the BP? Where is it? Where did I save you? Oh gosh. Where did I save you? If I do the same thing, I might find where I've saved it. Um, in blueprints, apparently, wherever that is. Ah, there you go. There it is. Okay, so I want to now just kind of do this and do this. Okay, now no matter what happens, I can walk through. I can't jump over it. I can't miss it at all. There's one thing I need to do. I forgot, uh, and that is, so click on the audio, come down and just turn off auto activate. Otherwise, like we had, it'll start uh, as soon as we play the level. You want, you probably want that just for things like um, ambient sounds on levels. There you go. We've hit the thing. And it's played it. And it's the do once has worked completely fine. So uh, it played, that's fine. It didn't really fade in though, but that's fine. Uh, oh, it's because I've set the fade in duration to zero. You probably want the fade in uh, duration to be like one. So it sounds like it's coming closer and the fade out duration to be probably one on there as well. Uh, let's try it again. That worked perfectly. There you go. And it will only ever do that once. So that That's kind of how you build and create a uh, action event. And um, that's obviously to do with sound. But um, yeah, and then you could then just destroy the actor afterwards because you don't need it ever again. Uh, and it'll be gone. Uh, the next thing we wanted to do was the same thing again. Uh, but we want to do this for um, our generator sound. Uh, let's call this uh, generator BP sound or something. I don't know, whatever. Uh, we'll save it in the same location for now. It's fine. We can drag those out later. Uh, right click, uh, add another box collision. This time we are going to use both the, um, the overlap and end overlap. There we go. Uh, for both these cast, two third person character. Now we want this to act a bit differently. We just want the sound to fade in and out um, as and when the player leaves and enters the box. So what we need to do is, um, no, we don't want to pull off the character. We want to get the audio. And we're just going to put the fade ins in a different location. Fade in into the first one like last time. Again, add a second, otherwise it's just not going to do anything. 
about a second should be fine. Uh, grab the, uh, I could just probably put it there, and then fade out like so. Plug it in, add about a second on there, uh, and then don't forget to go onto the audio and type in auto activate and turn that off because we don't want it to play when we first start the level. Try, chuck that in there for now. Uh, and let's get it out. Um, where is it? It's going to be in blueprint skin, isn't it? Wherever that is. Blueprints. Um, we want the generator sound. Doesn't really make much difference where we put it. Uh, and then stretch that bad boy out. But we also want to stretch it out this way so that it plays um, as we're in the box. So we have that one. We have our second one quite early on. I'm just going to drag it out so I can see it where it is uh, compared to the uh, the rest of the other stuff. That's it. There we go. I can see it now. Right. Um, okay, so when we get to the end of the corridor, uh, the generator will begin to play. Uh, it should fade in and fade out with no issues whatsoever. So, back into our very noisy corridor we get the we get the vent playing obviously it's not very scary because why would it be so it doesn't fade in very well because I think the sound at the start is um, probably a bit long before it begins so let's set that to like maybe four compile uh the other thing i probably want to do is set the audio on to loop i probably can't do it in here you probably have to go into the sound itself uh so let's find our sound just very quickly and just set that to um loop looping to true because obviously if it's like a 10 second sound it'll just end and then um, it won't sound very good also uh, if you have a short break at the start of your sound you probably want to edit that out just because it might get a little bit um, annoying if there's just a weird break in the middle of your sound so yeah, uh, the, say, the fade in I think is the sound more than anything. It should work with anything else, but I think the sound is what's um, what's causing that to happen. Um, I've got it open. How long is the sound actually? Thinking about it. Uh, just ten seconds. Um, boom, 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 boom. Where are you? Uh, okay, that's fine. Let's make the start time like a second. I just want to see what it, what it does, if it does anything. But either way, it, it shows with the first one it is working. I think it's just the sound for the second one. It's a bit rubbish. So that fades in, and then we'll fade out. And then as we get closer... and it fades out so yeah so that's kind of how you deal with those sort of things um again with the generator you would have that collision box cover whatever area you want that sound to play from so for example like me if you're doing a generator you would have it maybe um you'd have some attenuation on it of course so that it, it fades in gradually, but um, or at least the sound gets larger the further you, the closer you get. But to fade in that sound, you'd want it starting from like maybe a lot further away uh, than actually just getting into the generator room. Um, so bear things like that in mind when you're creating your levels. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully this has helped you a bit, um, and I will see you in the next episode. Thanks so much. Bye.